Guys, just a heads up, if you don't like seeing dead animals, like little mice and rats, you might not want to watch this one because it's snake feeding day. And that's what we're going to do, feed snakes dead rats. Yay! So, today is snake feeding day. Um, another thing that you guys might not know about us is that we have a couple reptiles. A lot of snakes. Um, we run a reptile rescue. Each one of these <laughs> bins. Sorry, Dale just pooped. <laughs> That's Dale. He's not a snake. He's the favorite. <laughs> um, has a snake. Each bin has a snake in it. <laughs> Super distracted now. <laughs> um, and there's also one in here. One down, One down there, and then Archer too. Duncachino's over there, and yes, Archer's in there. You can't see him. You'll see him when he gets his dinner. Um, so what we feed them is frozen, or were frozen, now they're thawed. Rats. Yes. Of different sizes. So we'll start with the big ones. A big red. And the other one for Duncan. And yeah, why do we have to heat them up, Steve? Because they see heat. And if you don't heat them up, then they're probably not going to see them or be interested in them. Although those two really don't care. They'll eat them. But eat them up. Bring up the body temperature. It's about 98 degrees. And then uh, watch the fireworks because it's pretty intense. What's the smell like? There isn't much smell right now, because they're just just defrosted. But if you leave them sitting here for a couple of days, then there's a smell. You get awful dead thing smell. Right, so you should be warmed up by now. Mm. So you want it. Come here, Dunk. Here he goes. That was quick. The reason you do frozen thaws is they don't fight back because mice and rats will fight and kill a snake. Bagheera. Bagheera. Uh, Hello. <laughs> That's what we mean by special. Yay! Yay. Here is a, they call them a spider morph of the ball pythons. And for some reason they have a genetic a defect there. where they lose some motor function. And so he can't really... He doesn't know which way is up. Yeah. Little baby ones. Oh! <laughs> he just attacked the camera. Come on. So it's some of our snakes we just have to leave it in there and they like to eat by themselves. This 
guy we call Rock Boy because literally he never comes out of this rock, even when he eats. <laughs> Zora was probably the daintiest of eaters out of all of them. He's a black Mexican king snake. Um, they're supposed to be pretty ferocious. They actually can eat other snakes. Especially rattlesnakes. Um, this one, we don't know what happened to him. So he has his own little... Sacrificial rock. <laughs> Sacrifice the snake. Archer is our Burmese python. Just a baby right now. How big do they get, Steve? Big. Very big. About 10, 12 feet. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> so, a lot of other animals in our room like to eat dead rats and mice. <laughs> um, this is Tucker, he's a tegu. He loves his little mouse snacks. He's very dainty <laughs> when he eats too. Yeah. Yeah, so yummy. <laughs> you don't even have to heat it up, he just eats it as it is. Yeah. Eggs, fish, ground turkey. Sometimes can get him to eat his fruits and vegetables. He's, he's kind of like a kid. Duck, it's almost done his. I'll slurp it down like spaghetti. Who's this, Dave? This is, she doesn't want to eat a mouse today. Uh, this is one of our Chinese water dragons. Um, this is a female. Oh. Listen to the crunching sound. Um, they eat bugs. Lots of bugs, but they also like their little mouse treats. They're one of my favorite lizards that we have. Dale the Iguana is my favorite, though. Don't tell anybody.